Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my December 2021 uh, book haul. So, I have a few books to talk to you about. Dane reads. First one's probably the most exciting. This is Once Upon a Time in Drayton Bassett by Alan Woodings. It's a very short, thin book. Um, but this is actually something that my granddad worked on and that I've basically turned into a book for him. So there's a Facebook group called Spotted Drayton Bassett um, and he's been sharing some of his memories in there. And so I've um, basically taken the memories that he shared. I'll try and show you here. Turned it into this little book. We've got some of his photos in. So that's a photo from 1949 when he was six there. Uh, that was him when he was at Drayton School. And then obviously all his writing. But my, my granddad's actually dyslexic as well, so it took quite a bit of editing and rewriting and stuff to make it decent. Um, but I think it's made it into quite a nice little book. So it's only, what, 30 pages, I think? 32 pages. Um, but yeah. And then the cover design. Well, my mum took the photo, uh, and then I made the cover design. I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, um, so there's that. And then there are a few that I picked up from a charity shop in Tamworth while I was visiting my mum. So I got The Beast from the East by R.L. Stein. Just one of the Goosebumps books that I haven't read yet. Uh, and then I got two Roald Dahl ones. Uh, the Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. Um, and then My Uncle Oswald. Um, I think I've actually read a few of the Uncle Oswald stories. I think I've just read like excerpts from these and stuff. But we will see. I'll um, go through these. This one is seven short stories and I do actually have um, the complete short stories of Roald Dahl up there to read. Um, so we might see. I don't know, I'll probably read it in this and then it just means that when I read the complete stories I can skip a few. If I remember them though, that's the thing, you know? So yeah, these two, very exciting. Hello everybody, um, I have some books to haul for you. Um, I've won two job lots on eBay, so the first was, was a James Herbert one, so I got Lair by James Herbert, which is the sequel to The Rats, uh, which is good because I also have Dominion up there, which is the third one, and I haven't been able to pick that up because I need to read Lair first, so now I finally have Lair. Um, Shrine in this naked hardback edition and then Fluke which I believe is about a dog so those are the James Herbert books and then I got some Mr. Men books as well so you'll, rem you'll remember that I've got a bunch of these recently and I'm just sort of slowly but surely trying to read them all I guess um, I used to be into this series as a kid so anyway I'm just gonna go through what we've got these are all by Roger Hargreaves and these are also all original ones too so we've got Mr. Lazy Mr. Muddle, Mr. Forgetful, Mr. Bounce, Mr. Strong, Mr. Impossible, Mr. Funny, Mr. Busy, Mr. Rush, Mr. Slow, Mr. Quiet, Mr. Clumsy, Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Tall, Mr. Skinny, Mr. Worry, Mr. Mischief, Mr. Wrong, Mr. Tickle, my old favourite, Mr. Bump, Mr. Nosy, Mr. Sneeze, Mr. Happy, Mr. Greedy, Mr. Snow, Mr. Small, Mr. Daydream, Mr. Topsy Turvy, Mr. Silly, Mr. Messy, Mr. Chatterbox, Mr. Mean, Mr. Jelly, Mr. Noisy, Mr. Fussy, and Mr. Nonsense. Okie dokie, so for Christmas I got a copy of Billy Summers by Stephen King. So this was a gift from my mother. She knew that I wanted it and I said I wouldn't buy it so that she could get it for me for Christmas. Um, so yeah, this is Stephen King's new book. I know very little about it, but I am excited to read it and I will be getting to it soon. In fact, I will probably be reading this over the New Year's Eve period. Uh, it's currently Boxing Day. All right, so it is like 25 to nine on New Year's Eve. I'm having a wild evening just staying at home at chilling. Um, but no new books came in the post today, which means it is official. Those are the only books that I got this month. Uh, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.